getting a break from the widespread rain this, this weekend. That is some good news. This is the last day of meteorological spring, and it has obviously been a very active spring. Uh, so this is May. I'm sorry, this is April, May, and June. You know what? In June, yeah. Maybe one day I'll get this right. You're trying to move it forward. <laughs> it's been We're a long, not in June until tomorrow. It's been a long few days. This is this is uh, March, April. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jesse. I do the weather here. I think. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> March, April, and May. That's what I was trying to say. Those three months when you uh, take the total rainfall together, we've seen just under 20 inches of rain in those three months. That's 8.63 inches above normal. This year, we're sitting at 25.07 inches. Uh, uh, which is 8.48 above normal. So yes, it's been an active spring. It's the seventh wettest year to date. It's the eighth wettest spring to date. So we have seen a ton of rain. We'll have a little chance this weekend, but it's not widespread and heavy. The high today was 84, which like Jason was saying, it's not bad for this time of the year. The normal is 88. The low this morning, 66. And right now it's 83 with calm winds. Uh, so as we take a look, across North Texas. The thunderstorm activity is staying down to the southwest of the Metroplex. North Texas is pretty quiet. You do have some heavy rain out toward Coleman and Ballinger and Brownwood, uh, but as we go through tonight, that's where it stays. We're not watching big complexes of thunderstorms roll into North Texas tonight. What we could see by early tomorrow morning or some lingering showers or maybe a couple of thunderstorms from a complex of storms that's taking shape in eastern New Mexico. That is really expected to fizzle out as it gets into our area. So that's four o'clock in the morning by 7 a.m. This is it. You know, just, this is nothing. Just some lingering rain or a rumble of thunder that may even move into the Metroplex by mid morning. But the rest of Saturday is dry. Sunday, we'll see another little chance of rain. Uh, there could be late Saturday afternoon and evening a, a pop up shower or thunderstorm. 20% coverage is all we're talking. That's it. Up to 60 mile an hour wind gusts would be possible in the one or two thunderstorms that pop up. A vast majority of you will not see rain tomorrow. Same thing on Sunday, late Saturday night. There it is again, another decaying complex of showers and storms that could make a run for North Texas out of Oklahoma and bring parts of the area a scattering of rain early Sunday morning. Most of Sunday will be dry, a couple of pop ups in the afternoon. Most of those will not be severe, but out west uh, toward Haskell and Albany and Abilene, there could be a couple of gusty thunderstorms tonight. Isolated rain. It's nice to not say widespread rain, just isolated stuff. 70 tonight, a pleasant evening. Tomorrow, 87, partly sunny, uh, a light breeze and warmer. There's the 14 day. Well, you know what? Summer's about to begin. Meteorological summer starts tomorrow, and it's really going to start looking like it. Highs are going to be uh, in the 90s. As we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 94, there are no signs that the weather pattern is, is dying down just yet. So with that being said, you know, we may start June off just like we ended May uh, with daily chances for thunderstorms. But, you know, I will say just looking at some of the latest data, Jason, it doesn't look as widespread or as intense as we've seen. Okay. But it's June. We could get severe weather. So just keep an eye on it. 